Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. It has been a while since I've done a watercolor Wednesday, so I thought we would do a few with the Christmas series this year. I am working with the Stamping Bella Uptown Girl Collection. This stamp is called Quinn and Her Boots. She's super cute. I love her scarfs are blowing in the wind there. And I went with a mostly green color palette, just a few pops of red and gray uh, for this one. I am using my Ganzai Tanby watercolors, those are my favorite, and my Fabriano cold press paper, some Santa Fe brushes, and then I have gone ahead and stamped out my image using Versified ink and some Simon Says Stamp clear embossing powder. So per usual with these, I am going to at this point turn up the music and let you enjoy the process. If you want to skip ahead to where I start putting the actual card together, you'll want to go to around the 14 minute mark.
Okay, time to start actually creating our card. You will see on the image I have gone through with a Jelly Roll Souffle white pen. I've added a few highlights to the hat, filled in the buttons and the ruffles on her coat, and a little bit of highlights on her boots just to give us a few extra white pops there, make things really have some nice shimmer. And I'm going ahead here and using my MFT Blueprint 32 frame die to cut this out. Gives it a nice sort of curved edge and the final measurement on that is three and three quarters by five inches. I'm gonna use some foam behind this because I have done watercoloring and also used my heat gun to dry this in between. There is just a slight bit of warping to my paper and this will help keep everything nice and flat. 
So I'm going to add some ATG to the back of my panel here and then I will press that right onto one of my foam sheets. Go ahead here and trim around the edges. And then I'm going to add some art glitter glue to the back of that foam and I'm going to place this on top of my card base. My card base is made from MFT's Field Day cardstock. Just making sure I'm getting as close to the edges as I can. I want to make sure this is nice and secure on the front of my card base. I'm going to use my stamp block here just to add some weight get all of this held into place while that dries. And I had a little bit of glue peeking out on the side there, so I'm just gonna use my pin to remove that. And you'll see I pull in a couple other blocks here to try and cover the whole thing, and then I realized all I needed to do was actually turn that stamp block, and it really covered the majority of what was there. While that dries, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my inside sentiment. I am using my Nina panel paper, and I'm showing you here how, with these rubber stamps that you cannot see through, how I line them up. So I've centered this stamp using my grid insert for the Misty, and then I'm going to take my piece of pattern paper, place it underneath that see-through door, and I will just go ahead and straighten. I'm not moving the placement of my stamp, but I'm just straightening it to make sure that my words are facing the correct angle. I'll add some of my intense black ink to that, stamp that a few times so I've got a nice and crisp letters. And then of course I will add that on the inside of my card base. Just a little stripe of some ATG down the middle and press that into place. And that will complete our card for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I've used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.